<laughs> big up, big up Auntie Naomi Campbell, man. Big up Auntie Naomi Campbell. Always finds a way to keep herself in the headlines. Whether she's being rude, whether she's being slighted by Rihanna, whether she's giving birth to two kids but not letting us know what how she actually acquired those two little babies. Whatever way, she always finds a way to get herself in the headlines. And this is another instance of it. And this is pretty damning and pretty shambolic and pretty shameful. I'm not going to lie. Curse of the Guardian. Naomi Campbell banned from being charity trustee. The model is barred for five years after a watchdog found evidence of financial misconduct at a charity she fronted. So they're alleging that Auntie Naomi Campbell and all these charities, all these galas that she's doing around the world, trying to give back money to the kids, to Africa, people less, you know, um, less privileged than she is, whatever it may be. Most of the stuff that she's been doing has all been a front to fucking, you know, justify her exuberant lifestyle, basically, which is pretty heinous. If you tell me it continues here. Naomi Campbell has banned, has been banned from being a charity trustee after a watchdog investigation uncovered widespread evidence of financial misconduct at a poverty relief charity she founded. That might be some of the most evil, dark shit you've ever seen someone do. Someone with with money, someone with fame, someone with status, someone with clout, whatever it may be, taking money from charities to benefit themselves is uh, the most scumbaggy stuff you could ever do. The supermodel, was disqualified for five years after the Charity Commission inquiry found that the Fashion for Relief passed on only a small fraction of the millions of pounds raised from star-studded celebrity fashion events and good causes. Now, we all know charities in general do this, right? We all know, like, administration charges and cost and operational cost for charities is exuberant and a lot of the money, or exorbitant, and a lot of the money that you do give to charities don't actually go to the people in need. But you never thought that someone like Naomi Campbell would be taking some of that money to fund their own lifestyle. That's the ma major thing. You know the funds are not going directly to the people. You know if you give £100 to Red Cross, the £100 isn't going directly to the people you need. Maybe less than 30 is going there. But Naomi Campbell taking the money that the charity makes and then using it to fund herself is just horrible. It continues. The charity inappropriately spent tens of thousands of pounds on luxury hotel rooms, flights, spa treatments, personal security, and cigarettes for Naomi Campbell, while unauthorized consultancy payments running into the hundreds of thousands of pounds were made to one of Campbell's fellow trustees. Like, oh my. So it's not bad enough that you're taking the money earned from these charities to pay for hotel rooms, flights, spa treatments, and personal security. She's then also billing her charity for consultation. She's writing an invoice to her own charity and then paying herself. Yo, scumbag is shit. But I'm not surprised this is the case. And it's also not surprising, you know, I'm pretty plugged into fashion Twitter. I follow most of the big accounts on there who kind of talk about certain fashion news. And it was not surprising to me to see the lack of coverage on this story from certain fashion accounts, from certain people involved in fashion. Because I feel like a lot of people, this is how they actually make money. Because I've always actually wondered, some of the fashion people, you know, who kind of don't have jobs, who kind of just, just exist, going from like fashion week to fashion week, who don't work for brands, who don't have a nine to five, who don't have a studio. Most of them do this. Most of them do this fucking charity grift, where you're a trustee for a charity, you pretend to raise money for charities, but you use the charity as a front to basically pay for your lifestyle, to fly to these exotic places, and to also virtue signal, right? Because you're into this vapid, non-important thing that is fashion, but then to make yourself look like a good person, oh, look, I'm the trustee for this charity. So people think, oh, look, you're doing more than just, you know, flying around and, you know, debating about the fucking Pantone colors of a particular runway show. But clearly, with the lack of coverage this story is getting, it would lead me to believe that a lot of people involved in fashion are also running the same grift, also running the same scam. Not surprising. It continues. It found that over a five-year period from 2016, Fashion for Relief raised just under 4.8 million in a series of fashion shows, but paid only 389,000 in grants to partner charities once the cost of the events and other expenses were accounted for. So there's over 2 million, basically, unaccounted for. 
Because <laughs> imagine the other half goes to expenses and shit. There's probably over 2 million that's been unaccounted for over the years. Not including anything else, I guess, donated, right? Jewelries, brand envelopes. God almighty, Naomi Campbell. Nearly $300,000, no, nearly £300,000 later, was later recovered from a charity by interim managers appointed by the commission and paid to the charity Save the Children, the Mayor's Fund of London, which reported fashion for police, fashion for relief, sorry. It, it sounds like the end. It should be fashion for police. Fashion for relief regulators four years ago after failing to receive promised payments from the fundraising agreements. Campbell's fellow trustees, Bianca Helmick, who inquiry found received 290000 in unauthorized consultancy fees and 26000 a year in travel expenses from the charity over a two-year period was disqualified from being a trustee for nine years. Yo, that is scandalous, bro. To be fair, even charging a charity a consultancy fee is scandalous. The whole point of doing charity work is you're doing fucking charity work. For once in your life, you're thinking about other people apart from yourself and you're going without payment. And you're maybe saying, hey, the payment that you would have paid me for consultancy, pay all of that to the charity. But these motherfuckers are actually invoicing a charity. Do you know how scrupulous, do you know how like lacking in scruples you have to be to fucking invoice a charity for the, for the disadvantage? God almighty. Um, Hilmick proposed to the commission to repay the fees and expenses in February 2022 and a repayment plan was agreed with the commission. The full payment will be paid on April 2023. Yo, can you imagine how that must hurt in the morning? You get paid 290000 in unauthorized consultancy fees, at 26000 a year travel expenses and then you have to pay all that back. I'd rather go without. That's the thing. That kind of money hitting your account in such a scammy way and then you have it to pay it all back oh in payment in, in in you know via a payment installment god almighty our third trustee veronica chu was banned for five years so basically her whole crew nomi campbell's whole crew went down i wonder if she i wonder if she snitched that's what she got five years because this woman that, that this woman that did the scam once right she got she got what was it two year no she got she, she got banned for nine years but nomi campbell only got banned for five how is that possible she might have snitched, didn't it? I think Auntie Naomi Campbell must have snitched. See, yeah, the supermodel was disqualified for after the charity for five years after the charity committed. Da, 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 da. But her codies got nine years. So Naomi Campbell must have snitched. Not only is she a fucking scammer, right? And a fraud. <laughs> She's also a fucking snitch. Honestly, Naomi Campbell doesn't get enough, you know, uh, enough fucking uh, pelters online. She should get more than she gets. Maybe because she's scary and she looks like she can actually fight. That's probably why people don't give it to her more, I think. Because, they, you know, if you cross paths with her, she will definitely put it on you. You know what I mean? She's not one of these people like that abides by being like a celebrity and being all like uppity and shit. She's definitely from the street. She'll definitely throw a phone at you. She'll definitely rush you. She'll definitely spit at you, slap you in public. Like, she's not afraid. So that's why people uh, don't want to say anything. But this woman's a pretty horrible person, it seems like from the outside in she could be nice behind the scenes but she doesn't seem to be the nice nicest person in the world um and i i'm assuming again i'm guessing here but the fact that she's got five years and she's the head of the charity but all her cody's got nine and four i think she may have snitched i think so fashion for relief um, has previously argued that it was not solely a fundraising charity but also a platform that through its high profile fundraising events encouraged donors to give directly to its partner charities and good causes all right we're not a charity fuck off the commission report however reveals that it did not immediately pay save the children 40 um 375,000 raised in 2017 fundraising event Fashion for Relief paid some of its funds and the remaining money it owed, 147000 was equi was eventually paid by the Fashion Relief interim managers in January 2023. So even even during the end, even during the end of this stuff, like, it's not surprising because I always wondered myself, like, when you go to these charity events and they raise all this money, how soon after do the charities actually get? It's not immediately because they don't, they never do it at the event. I never understood why they don't just show you. Hey guys, all this money's raised and, and it's like a big part of the event. Like, let's send the money over to the charity. Three, two, one, boom. They never even do that. They wait. You know what I mean? They like it takes ages for the charity to get the money. So with that time period, 
that probably encouraged people to scam and do some bullshit stuff because that money's burning a hole in your pocket. You're like, you know what? I'm going to have to run a little quick. So I'm not surprised here. It continues. The commission concluded that there had been serious misconduct, financial mismanagement and poor governance of the fashion release since it was established as a UK charity in 2015. So they're not, they're not even saying this is like a recent thing. They're saying since its inception, since it's been established, fashion for relief has, fashion for relief has been scamming. Fucking hell. So I guess whatever they could get on Naomi Campbell was what they could prove. But it's probably way more payments and shit that she got throughout the years that they can't prove. Wow. The inquiry report highlighted the shambolic financial management, chaotic record keeping, including failure to keep evidence of invoices and receipts for formal meetings of minutes and decisions. The charity had no full-time staff, but referred to administrative and accounting matters of outside advisors. <laughs> no full-time staff, but people are getting paid like full-time salaries on their invoices. Gotta love it. Or for their consultancies already. The charity ha was charged... 14,800 no, 14, euros for a flight taking a former unnamed trustee and an unnamed donor to a fundraising event in Cannes in May 2018, the commission said. While there, Campbell stayed in a 3,000 euro a night hotel room and ran up personal security costs of more than 4,000 euros. Jesus Christ. Other expenses include... Again, why does Naomi Campbell need that level of security anyway? Like, really? Come on, let's, let's be for real. Like, who are you getting chased down by? Like, let's be for real. The security is just another way to kind of show and to front like you're somebody. It's not really to secure you. Not really. She's not getting bothered like fucking, you know, I don't know, like Ice Spice or some shit. Like, you're fucking Naomi Campbell. You're an older lady too. Most people don't even know who you are. Like, let's relax. Let's fucking relax. Personal security, you know. Other expenses incurred to the charity by Campbell during the trip included just under 8,000 euros on spa treatments, room service, purchase of cigarettes and hotel products. Campbell stayed at a hotel for six nights of which she only were attributed to the charity event. Only two were attributed to the charity event. <laughs> you know, sometimes like when I, when I was like working in like marketing and shit or that sort of stuff when you fly around the world, like it was horrible. Because I remember looking forward to that level of like where I'd be having my own card, where I'd be able to expense stuff, where I'd be able to fly around the world. But it actually wasn't as good as it kind of seems. Because I remember there was one time where I think I traveled between like LA, New York, Paris and Berlin in like a six day period. So it sounds good on paper. Oh shit, yeah, I'm working in marketing, I'm working in social media, uh, whatever. I'm working in brand, I'm the creative director, I'm this, I'm that, I'm flying around the place. But honestly, flying from those places within six days killed me. It was not fun at all. Yes, all of it was expensed. Yes, you could fucking order room service. Yes, you could get to spend the place, you know, spend your time in like nice hotels. But you also had to spend the bare minimum required to get a job done. So if I had a meeting the next day, I'd fly on a Friday, you'd leave on the weekend, you'd leave on that evening. You wouldn't stay for the, until the Monday. But Naomi Campbell was out here, you know, only two days of charity work were scheduled, but she flew out or she stayed in the hotel for six days, six nights, sorry. That is fucking scammy. That is, that is really, really scammy. It continues. Um, Campbell and Helmick, Helmick, Helmick sounds like a fucking, um, sounds like she's got some family that might, you know, that might believe, uh, you know, the Holocaust didn't happen. I don't know. Helmick. Helmick. Hmm. Campbell Helmick uh, told commission investigators that the hotel costs incurred by the charity were substantially re so, 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 were subsequently recharged to an unnamed donor. But the investigators could not find evidence that the Fashion Relief had received donor repayments covering these expenses. Jesus Christ. Fashion Relief was founded by Campbell with the aim of raising money to tackle poverty and support the economically deprived <laughs> young people. The supermodel claimed that the brand had raised millions of dollars for the good causes for frat charity shows since 2005. Jesus Christ. The commission started its former inquiry of Fashion Relief in November 2021, subsequently sidelining Campbell and Hilmick. This interim managers discovered that the charity was effectively insolvent with insufficient cash to pay creditors it was finally wound up in march so it doesn't exist anymore because they basically ran it into the ground Naomi campbell and her partners ran that charity into the ground they bled it dry and that doesn't even exist so the people that were meant to help aren't getting the help they need anymore and uh, the people that gained the most is obviously fucking Naomi campbell 
Yo, like <sighs> the statement for the Save, Save the Children said, Save the Children thanks the Charity Commission for its thorough inquiry into Fashion for Relief and enabling the payments of a standing funds owed to the charity. Save the Children's relationship with Fashion for Relief ended in 2018 and we have no plans to work with them in the future. The Charity Commission Assistant Director for the Specialist Investigators and Standards, Tim Hopkins, said the trustees are legally required to make decisions that are in the charity's best interest and to comply with their legal duties and responsibilities. Our inquiries have found that the trustees that this f charity failed to do so, which has resulted in our action to disqualify them. Campbell and Hillmark were approached for comment. To be fair, if you know me, Campbell, you have to be embarrassed. You can't show your face in it, but she probably will. She's probably yapping about this. I'm going to fight my name. I'm going to clear to fight my name. There's more to this story, blah, 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 blah. But if you did something like this, you have to be so, you have to, you, you have to have some level of shame. You have to, you have to. Stealing money from charities to fund your lifestyle is so, so, so deplorable but again not surprising in the slightest not surprising in the slightest